All righty, um, pre-AP biology. Uh, today is the unit four final exam review. Again, I'm going to see some of you in class today. Others I won't. So this video is mainly for you guys that are at home. Um, again, just same thing as before with units one, two, and three. Um, if you haven't done those practice sets yet, I've said this before, you're doing it wrong. So if you have been working on those, good job. Keep working on those sets, even through the weekend. If you haven't done them all, again, the test is coming up next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, depending on uh, what group you're in. So make sure you look at the Monday agenda uh, to see the date for that. All right, so unit four. Uh, this is the, the unit that we've most recently done. Um, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the bigger units. Uh, lots of information in, in here. Uh, for those of you that already took the quiz on this, which is most of you, uh, we didn't score too bad on it. I thought it was a pretty good quiz, um, which leads me to believe that not only do you, did you learn it, but um, you know we, we, we learned it recently. So hopefully this, a lot of this stuff is still fresh in your, in your brain. All right, so some of the major topics we covered, cell transport, diffusion and osmosis, make sure we know what those terms mean. There is a difference between the two. Uh, tonicity, uh, several of you guys um, have, th have this confused. I could tell by your quiz scores, I could tell by your homework scores. Hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic environments we should know what happens to cells when they're put in those environments and the direction that water is flowing. Again, if you were confused on that, it's probably because you didn't watch my lecture video. So if you need to go back and watch that, make sure you do so. Uh, plant and animal cells. You know, when it comes to uh, tonicity, I mean, it's, it's, it's similar in plant and animal cells, but there is one major difference. So make sure you look that up. Facilitated diffusion, that's different from just regular diffusion. And then finally, active and passive transport, there's a major difference between those two. Uh, then we got to inside the cell. You know, this was mainly, you know, all the different parts of the cell, what they do. You know, I talked about the cell theory. We should know the different parts of that. Differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. And that's all in your notes. Uh, the cell membrane, you know, the structure of it, phospholipids, all those proteins that are in there. What do they do? Uh, what's, what are their jobs? All the organelles. Um, I mean, this is like biology 101. We got to know uh, all the different organelles and what they do. Um, I wouldn't spend, you know, four hours studying organelles. Uh, just make sure you know the general function of each one and you should be fine. And then finally, plant versus animal cells. There's some major differences between the two. Um, you know, plant cells have chloroplasts, animal cells don't, that type of thing. And then we got into cell reproduction. This was a major, major topic. Uh, lots of vocabulary. Um, chromosome number, you know, diploid and haploid, make sure we know the difference there. Somatic cells, gametes, they're different types of cells. Um, chromosome number kind of relates to those. Uh, we talked about mutations, things like trisomies and monosomies. You know, when you look at a karyotype, uh, you should be able to tell the difference between them. If, you know, one has a trisomy, another one doesn't. If it's a normal karyotype, uh, that type of thing. Cell cycle. Uh, there's like two or three videos on the cell cycle. You know, interphase, you know, G1, S, G2. We need to know what's going on in those phases. Mitosis, remember PMAT. Uh, make sure we know what goes on, you know, not, not just in every individual phase, but just kind of like the overall purpose of mitosis, like what is happening um, during those steps. Cytokinesis, which is the last part of the cycle, you know, what's happening there. Uh, then we got into meiosis. You know, meiosis, we should know that a certain type of cell is being produced. We should know where in the body those cells are being produced. Uh, how does it differ between males and females? You know, compare, contrast, that type of thing. All right, so lots of stuff here for unit four. Uh, when it comes to practice sets, today I've got three of them for you. 
Um, and, and mainly I took a bunch of the old homework and quiz questions and kind of put them in there for you, kind of redo, again, just as practice, but I would take those things seriously because um, who knows what I'm going to ask you on the test. I might just pull questions right out of here and throw them right on the exam. You know, I've been known to do that before. Um, but anyway, make sure you work on those things today and over the weekend. Uh, PowerPoint slides, lots of notes I gave with this. Uh, and of course, the lecture videos, uh, lots of lecture videos with this as well. So again, you have lots of resources at your disposal. All right. I expect, expect all A's and B's on this test. That's the expectation. If you get less than a B, you have not met my expectation. All right. Considering, you know, how far we've gone you know, through the entire semester. Um, it's a 40 question test. It's not that lengthy. Uh, but um, with all the resources that you have, uh, and the amount of time that you have to prepare, uh, I would expect nothing less than an A or a B on this thing. So make sure you prepare yourself. If you have any questions, obviously you can see me in class or uh, you can email me if you're at home. All right, guys, have a good day. Adios, amigos.